everyone, welcome to the video. Yeah, continuing to to new world in with Morris's story. So, let's go into the outside world. All right, here we go. Wonder if they'll let me through this time. I heard you'd be coming. Go on through. All right, a copa led me to the outside world, or something like that, I guess. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um. So I know I could have some bots, but I forgot about that. So yeah, we're continuing on. If you have seen the streams, the recent stream I did. Hello. All right. Oh, it's this place. The one I saw in my dream. So I dreamed of the outside world. Now that I'm here, I should explore a bit before I go back. I'm curious about the kind of place America lives in. All right. All right, I'm just gonna... Wait, do I have that? Yeah, I don't need that. So I, I was playing this earlier. I got some stuff upgraded. Or, well, not some, but I got my magic missile upgrade, so now I have three shots. Now I got triple shots with it, which is good. Alright. I think we might just do this part right here. I'll probably stream this again, maybe. I don't know. But right now, I'm on my stream break. So, I don't know if I'll continue or not. But if you guys... Do want me to continue it? Do let me. Do leave a like on the video. It would help out the channel, as well as subscribe and share my channel with your friends. So that way, that way my channel can grow more. Because I think right now I'm gonna try to maybe get to 350 subs for this year, being the goal. I don't know, but I'm just. Pl I I'm planning on. It. I'm so thinking of it right now all right yeah I gotta get rid of that move <laughs> what is it um which ley line yeah we're getting rid of that get rid of it for sweep aside because at least this attack it's it's better I don't know I don't have like a long duration oh yeah much better mucho better Yeah, I, yeah, if I, if you guys want me to do another video of this, do let me know in the comments. And also my Discord server, <clears throat> for those who haven't joined it. I will have a link in the description below to it, if you guys so wish to join it. You know, if you guys want to hang out with your boy, talk and some stuff. Again, links will be all in the description below, or you can just check it out in my About Me section. You can totally do that. So one thing I, I mean, one thing I know about this game that I kind of find it a bit of like a cheap tactic is, let's say if an enemy shoots like projectile attacks and you, well, defeat them, it, the bullets like disappear. So like that very right there. Say, look, the bullets just, like, disappear, so... Yeah, uh, recommend you guys... You, you, I recommend you guys try and use that as, like, a strategy. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, we might do this... We're gonna do this level, and then we're gonna do the sub... One of the sub-levels that... It, it, well, if we unlock one. Oh, man. Yeah, those guys, those bomb dudes, like, you cannot, like, you gotta basically use range attacks on them. Melee attacks, not the best. Just saying. Alright. By the way, I am gonna say this, I'm gonna say this again that I've said previously. Isn't this game supposed to be like... That Toho game where Samurko goes to Gensukio, or the game where Samurko is introduced. Like, isn't this basically that, but they just rewrote it? Like, am I not wrong about that? Someone let me know. Like, does this game just seem like the Toho game 
Or I guess the total spin-off game where Samurko appears. Where she play is is playable. Yeah, someone let me know about that. Alright, we're at the Hakura Shrine. Oh, look, it's Yukari! Yukari, why are you here? Are you scheming something up again? Oh, you've got quite a mouth on you. I'm simply doing what's best for Jitsukio. I have no idea what you're, ta what you're thinking, but there's no persuading me of something like that if you're doing it in the outside world. And shouldn't it be the same in your case? You're... You receive the occult ball from the kappa, then press through the barrier. Yeah, and you gave the kappa permission too, didn't you? You shouldn't be an issue for me to be here. Here, you say. Have you not noticed what ha what's happened? It seems I'll need to teach you a little lesson. Okay, you cutty. Okay, Yukari, take this. Master Spark! Yeah, I did the one, the sub-dungeon, not sub-dungeon, the sub-quest I did, it's the one where he fights Cherno. And it's like the fairy one, where it's like, oh yeah, there's this fairy doing stuff, like, beat her. <laughs> yeah. I did that one, just to like, get back to the feel of it. And again, I didn't do much besides leveling up that by... My magic missile. By the way, can we can we can I just say we need a Toho fan game or something like this where we play as I don't know Yukari and we gotta basically prevent a crisis from happening in Gensukio. Like I think the game should be like Gensukio Crisis. Like Gensukio Crisis Defender, something like that. <laughs> you were holding back. Naturally, there's no point in defeating you in a place like this. Psh, it's not like I mind. You thrashed about so much, yet you still haven't realized? Then maybe this will open your eyes. Th this, this is an occult ball. You learned of this ball from the capital, didn't you? A dangerous item within the power to bend barriers. Kappa wished to use it as a teleportation device, allowing them to travel between Jinsukyo and the outside world. But that is not its true power. In fact, such an orb isn't even meant to be in Jinsukyo. And the order of operations is incorrect. W wait just a second. I don't understand a word you just said. Dumb it down a bit, would you? Didn't this place seem off somehow? Have you come across a single living person since you arrived here? Now that you mention it, I was attacked by strange machines, which was always enough to keep me from being totally bored, but I never saw any humans. That is because this, this outside world is not the true outside world. This place is merely a dream and illusion of the outside world created by none other than Samurko Sami. Da da da! <laughs> what? Samurko so did this? So I dreamt of Jinsukio. For a human, she had an incredible level of power. And as she continued to study ways of entering Jinsukio, she eventually managed to pass through the barrier. No way! How could she? First of all, she doesn't even have your powers! Her power, I believe, was telekinesis. Oh, sorry. Her power, I believe, was telekinesis. But that may be merely that's the surface level. It may not be your true power. It could be a power similar to mine. Something fueled by the boundaries. You're kidding me. Thus, we come to the main issue. When Samurko passed through the barrier and obtained the occult ball, that is when this dream, this dream outside world appeared alongside the real one. And that is the strongest part. Samurko should have doubtless noticed the occult ball. She should have, she should have been the one to create it. 
but simply someone else gave her the occult ball in advance and changed the order of the story. Thanks to that, Samarka could only return to the outside world of her dreams, and so the dream world has created. This story is way too confusing. How do you even know any of this? Just listen, let me continue. The boundary between the stream world and reality. All right, I'm just gonna skip, I'm not gonna read most of it, but you guys, if you want to, you're more than welcome to pause. But yeah. So yeah, it's basically Yukari's talking about like, oh yeah, like, it's we gotta get Samurko back. And if the occult balls stay here in Jensukyo, we're basically going to be in the dream world for too long. And eventually, something bad will happen. Like, eventually, Dormy, if she could, she could just, like, completely eat it all. Right? She could just, like, completely absorb it. Sure, I mean, they don't say about Dormy, but they just say, like, yeah, that's something that could happen if we don't do anything about it. Yeah, the Lunarians. Of course the Lunarians, like... <laughs> yeah, and then that's... Yeah, that's where she said... Yeah, if you want to read the whole story about Yukari, like, look it up. Like, it's... It's interesting. The fact that Yukari once had an assault but failed because, well... Yokais have, like, a weakness to the Lunarians. Got a trophy, the truth, a truth uncovered. Oh look, it's Vinusuke. Looks like I've got a guy with the occult ball. That arm has some kind of power. Have you noticed anything else about it? Oh, you didn't know? The Tengu wrote about it in the paper. They said that these are divine balls and if collected, they can grant you one wish. A wish, you say? You could travel to the outside world by bending the barrier with the occult balls, right? Coincidentally, there was a yokai who made quite the commotion in the underworld. According to Yukari's explanation, it's even possible to recreate a dream version of the outside world. Yeah, pretty hard to believe though. Looking at it from another angle, couldn't you say that that was a wish that has been granted? Hmm, I guess that's true in a sense. But I have three cold balls and my wishes haven't been granted yet. Now listen, I'm just saying you could explain it in that way. Now that this information is out there, it appears the number of people actively seeking these orbs has tr increased dramatically. In fact, it was printed in the paper recently that two of the orbs were found, along with their corresponding locations. Wait, so people are finding more orbs already? Apparently one was near the cemetery near the human village, and another at the summit of the Yokai Mountains. They didn't say who found them, though. I'm sure they're already gone, but it might be still worth looking into. The Tango published this article may have more info as well. You should find them at the Waterfall of Nine Heavens. The summit's pretty far. Might be best to start investigating at the Waterfall of the s or the Cemetery. Alright. Oh, finally. Safe. I did say we we're gonna do that, but I think we'll probably do that another time. We'll pro I'll probably do that for a stream, or maybe the next video. I don't know. Maybe the next video we'll just do like all of these. Maybe do a couple of them. I'm not gonna do all of them though in a video. I'm just gonna like do most, like a, like two of them. I don't know what the title of this video is. I guess it's like Marissa finds the truth about Smurko or something. I don't know. I, I still don't know. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll probably have another video out probably tomorrow, which will be another Toho themed video or something. I don't know. I haven't planned it yet. But thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.